Pause. Pause, man. Hey, hey, I know you start shaking LD gonna give you a tip. LD giving you the tip? Pause. And then he said another place you can go to get a tip or two. Wavy. Pause, pause. Wavy. You're rubbing off you're rubbing off on me. Wait, pause. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with a whole bunch of information that we got on yesterday about just, just how to, how to, you know, a lot of people were worried about the my builder and, you know, they wanted to you know how this thing was going to play out, man. I was just more worried about the my court and all of that good stuff, man. And we got a lot of good information. And then Chalk is being the prognosticator for the future, man. And we got bad information and all that, man everything that you need to know right here in one video man so before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all know we're trying to go with this thing to the moon alice and if nobody told y'all this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all man i want to tell my guys out there man listen it is 2k season no matter what happened man don't let you listen we get one time of year this is the super bowl for us we get one time a year to really enjoy ourselves and do our thing and it's all about us and it ain't father's day when we getting some fucking socks or something like that it's this right here 2k go i hope you i hope you got a girl like mine that has already bought the game for me put some v some, some money to the side for the vc for me and all of that man and and just let you rock out next week just just from the fourth until you know we got labor day and then we have uh another day off and then we got the game that comes out. So hopefully she lets you rock out that whole week in the weekend and all that, just like I'm going to do. And if she don't, man, it's all good because you can just watch your boy, man. So, hey, it is what it is. But one thing is one thing for certain, two things for show. Sure, uh, is this right here. You will be able to test your... <laughs> It won't be that much VC wasted, man. You don't got to be in the stage like me. My boy Rich Sosa says you can now test your bills with friends slash NBA players before making them. Huge feature added to the My Player Builder. And this is one of them things, man, why I just think it's super dope, bro, because, because uh, you know, he put some screenshots and stuff up here, man. So, you know, here we go. Boom. And then we got... Uh, then we got this right here. You know, you, you, you show you show you playing the game. Pretty much it's the same thing uh, that it is, but you can do it with friends because we already know that you can do things. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it with friends or what, like, like and the way that you would be able to, uh, like, against the bots and stuff. You know how we can test it against the bots. Nobody want to test something against the bots. I want to test it against my friend. Like, let's say, let's say if we're trying to find out what the threshold is for, for steals or something like that. I don't want to test that against the bots. I want to test that against a human. I want to see if I can get, you know, if we can get in, get in there and get bumpy against humans and stuff like that. So we don't know exactly how deep that goes or how that's going to be. And we won't know until how until the game starts. But that boy D-Man is showing you right here that uh, that that you can do the sliders. He said, I can't wait. I can't wait to lab uh, in my court in NBA 2K25. My favorite feature is, is being able to change the slider preset so you can change that slider preset and you can see it right there he's changing it from uh you know rank 3v3 to you know you got park city pro-am all of that so city ranked pro-am then you got rec and then you got park you know 3v3 or whatever man so like that's cool to be able to let's say if i just go in there and i just want to shoot around i can shoot around and, and get used to shooting on the highest setting and then I can I can come back and do something else. Now, if you want to check out the full of my cart court, man, this is from our uh, young keys, man. He's just giving us a he's gonna give us a tour. Let's just go ahead and get into that real quick. Give you all the tour of the my court in 2K25. Here go all the game modes in your my court. You could play with friends or other NBA players or whatever. But look at the slider preset: city, rank program, program, and rank 3v3. It's gonna give you a much more realistic environment to practice whatever game mode you want to practice. You can go right. up here and go upstairs. There's a pool table up here. There's a door that we couldn't open at Community Day. I don't know if that'll change in the future. Heading back downstairs, and if you look to the left here on my wall, this is actually where you can hang jerseys of NBA players you did jersey swaps with when you do challenges for That's my dope. career. Right over here is where all the jersey magic happens. Be dope. You come to this part of my crib, you'll see Daily Pick'em. It's just classic Daily Pick'em like we know it. I don't think much has changed with this. And if you're wondering what this is, I was wondering too. So I went up to it. I pressed X to activate Shay. homo help. And shake down and LD2K came up on my screen to give me tips. But another place you can go to get a tip or two is Learn 2K. Pause, right yo, yo, pause, bro. Pause. Hey, I know Wavy watching this, man. Yo, you got to pause that B somewhere. Yeah, I let him get get get, get away with shake, going to get shaking LD, going to get shaking LD, LD, pause. 
balls, man. Hey, hey, I know you start shaking LD gonna give you a tip. LD giving you the tip? Pause. And then he said another place you can go to get a tip or two. Wavy. Pause, pause. Wavy. You're rubbing off, you're rubbing off on me. Wait, pause, man. Hey, I'm turning into Wavy, man. Hey, let's keep going, though. It's very possible it was only on that wall so we can access it at Community Day, but this is where all of your film room, your mini games, your tutorials, your scrimmages are. Hey, then that's what we got right there, man. Hey, bro, you got that's reckless right there, bro. Is am I out of pocket with that? Am, or is that reckless? He said, LD gonna give you a tip or two? Pause, bro. <laughs> anyway, man, speaking of big shooters, man, pause. We got my boy. Hey, we got my boy. Uh, <laughs> we got I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's just a pause video. We're just gonna write pause down there in the video. This is my boy, Big Papa Bear Day, man, with the hey, shooting with the seven foot center in NBA 2K. 25 man hey my guy always got got so he always up to something man it just is what it is man but so you know like i said man this this is this is the things that you can do on the my court and all of that i'm hoping that is like i'm glad that they bought the brought the my court back because y'all like oh hold on one second man can we roll that back i'm glad they brought the my court back because for me my court was one of the things that i hold on hold on Hey, anyway, my court is one of the things that I've always liked to, I used to practice my jump shot in there and I wanted to do things like that. So to me, I'm happy that they brought the my court back. Hopefully you guys are happy that they brought it back as well. But the fact is that we'll be able to go in and play the game and, you know, test out bills and do stuff like that, test out jump shots and all that. I can do a wider variety of jump shots for y'all. Now, now I can make a five, nine or a six, four or whatever, and then test it out in there and just shoot the ball and, and do all that good stuff, man. So that's gonna be super dope, man. It's gonna save us some money. We gonna save money. We gonna be able to save a little money and do something. Hey, up next, we got that boy Joe Knows Hollywood say, this is another Hollywood, not that Hollywood. Bro, stop trolling, stop trolling with these small bills. Uh, we both know that you're not gonna be on one. And then uh, Joe Knows says, and, and rightfully so. At Community Day, I don't make bills for myself, man. I make templates to show people interested in each type of build what capabilities they, are, they will have to help them on day one. I try to give people an idea of what they can, they can do in the builder at each height and play style so they don't waste money and time on launch day. And that's what that's what this Community Day is really about, man. You like, you know, like obviously we know what we're making, right? But it's about the content, man. It's not necessarily about what I want to do and what I don't want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that all year. I want to show you what you have the possibility of doing. It's really about just reaching the widest uh, audience and all that stuff, man. That's really what you're trying to do. You're not necessarily trying to show them what you're going to be building or whatever. But speaking of which, man, the people talking about this thing, the game is bike, man. They boys, boys, boys say, hey, say Rivet City is bike. We know that. They say Old Town is bike. I don't know. Old Town and Sunset is bike, man. I don't know. They say Annie up is bike. We know that part. And seven three point guards, we know that's not bike, man. But look, this is somebody dribbling or whatever, and said it's a, uh, it's starting to feel like an old G two K. I don't know, man. Like this, this definitely looks like. I remember that move right there, bro. If you if you played two K twenty uh, sixteen, you definitely remember people dribbling out the corner and then hopping back and then shooting or whatever. But I don't, I don't think we're gonna have too many seven three-point guys in the game, man. But hey, trying to confirm that, man, we got that boy Chalk, and uh, he gonna, he gonna, he giving us a, a little prognostication. Chalk, the Chalk Nosticator. Uh, go, go, go ahead. I guarantee Chalk. you that the old parks from NBA 2K15, 16, and 17 are coming back under different names, and here's what on my team that they had rivet city in it and you saw that they were teasing us with the 2k16 shirt they have strategically engaged in old nostalgic posts consistently and to top it all off the last post from ronnie says one more sleep until we head to the heart of the city mm. and that might not sound like too much to you but guess what in 2k17 there was a song called the heart of yeah, i am crazy. guaranteeing you guys that this is coming back tomorrow and i'm gonna tell y'all right now man there ain't no love no, 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 no. We can't be catching. Are they we can't be catching no uh, copyright. They caught me with a copyright for a half a second or some, and you know Jay Z is ruthless with that title, man. Like, Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Hey, yeah, they probably get me for this. Ain't no love in the heart of town. 
No, nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. They might get me. That's too close to the source material. And to actually show what he said, man, we got Sydney, Sydney sitting back, leaning back. <laughs> Legacy defining city reveal. Yeah, here we go. But anyway, we got, hey, like, listen, one more sleep until we head to, to the heart of the city. Uh, spread the word, retweet, and all that good stuff, man. So he might be right, man. We might be headed to the heart of the city where it ain't no love, man. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Up next, hey, NBA Labs. Wanted to show the fumble animations and all this stuff, man. They're showing, like, if you're dribbling the ball and you dribble into somebody, then then uh, you can fumble the ball or what have you. I am absolutely sure that they are going to, um, in the interest of smoothness or gameplay, they are going to... Uh, change this up a little bit because you can't just have people running just like this right here will be too too it's too easy right like you can just run in there and just kick the ball like you we can't have that right so you have to have some balance in this right here so i, I don't think this is how it's going to be in the actual game it's probably just how it is but we do know that in 2k18 it was a lot like this and what they did in 2k18 was um but the problem with 2k18 is you could initiate the contact and then snatch it back like i said and then you know that's what everybody was using so i don't know how true this is gonna be i just say calm down everybody i do understand that i do understand that that it, it looks scary right now but we'll know when the game comes out speaking of when the game come out man that boy that boy uh zach timmerman he put out the the all the badge requirements and stuff man you can i'm gonna put the link that, to this down in the description but it's all excuse me it's all mike wong's twitter Ah, it's all Mike Wong's Twitter anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, y'all don't need to know. And then, like he said, he just put, he said, for those that got old eyes, man, the, the, the biggest thing that I'm looking at, you know, you got Interceptor, you got to have 98 steel to get it on Legend or whatever, off-ball pest on Legend. Like, you can only, I think you can only get, like, two legendary badges per, per, um, so the legendary, like I was telling T last night, the legendary badges, they do disappear after the season. So you can only get two legendary badges per season, if I'm not mistaken. They call them plus ones. You don't, you it won't necessarily be legendary. It's just be, you'll be able to elevate a Hall of Fame to legendary. Or if I got something that's on bronze, I can elevate it to, uh, to, let's say like, let's, or let's say like, if you got gold, if you have silver, you make a building, you got silver unpluckable, then you can, you can get gold unpluckable during the season, but at the end of the season, that gold will be gone, it'll go back to silver, it's gonna revert to silver, so, you know, we got this stuff right here, pick dodges, to get legendary pick dodges, you're gonna have to have 99 perimeter, bro, like, that is insane, like, these defensive things are, they up there, but if you wanna have on-ball minutes, that, you gotta have 99 steel and 99 perimeter, I don't know if that's going to leave you a whole heck of a lot to do a whole lot of uh, anything else because right here to get that to get that glove, you're going to have to have 99. And see, that's what was kind of confusing to me because I'm like, if I can get it at Hoff, then doesn't that mean if I can get it on Hall of Fame? But maybe, maybe, does that mean, because we know, see, this is what I was saying. We know that gold is 91 uh, glove, right? So does that mean that, that now gold glove is 96? And then with the plus one, I can get it to Hall of Fame? Or is that what they're saying? Because I would think that the way that it would work would be I can get Gold Glove at 91, and then I can get Hall of Fame Glove at, uh, you know, just, just do the plus one. But it, this is implying something different, that you're going to get Hall of Fame Glove at 96, which is fine. But then can I elevate it to the Legend Badge at 99? Like, I don't, I don't understand. So I'm, I'm not totally with this right here i don't i don't completely understand but they got everything in here man you know you got the scoring like the mini marks me you have to have to get it at legend you are going if you want some of these badges on legendary you're going to have to make a sacrifice and i guess rightfully so man because legendary is supposed to be like you know something for the people that actually went for 99 or 98 or 99 so i can definitely understand that but then you get like like legend night like, lightning lunches at legend lightning lunch at 94 so like I, I don't really get it man i don't understand i really don't um i really don't know but at, at, at the end of it all it appears that uh a lot of this stuff is here and we can uh we can get it done and we can see what it is man but y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section man we got about an hour before they're going to drop the heart of the city uh stuff so we'll be able to see what's going on but let me know what y'all think now in the comment section uh like the video subscribe if you're new and i'll holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay aka fresh from the barbershop be here to people's shop Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.